Good morning, Sunlighters. Hope you're all having a great Tuesday morning. Today we're doing a bit of a different video. Today we're gonna to be doing a story time video. Now this happened to me a few weeks ago and I originally wasn't actually going to do a video on it but I decided, it, I think I should do a video on it because there is quite a lot of information in this and especially, particularly what happened, what I had to deal with. Basically walking you through, obviously the steps that I had to deal with and this is a true story. It literally happened two weeks ago and luckily I solved it all in the one day. Again, running at a mile an hour, trying to get this all done, but let's talk to you guys all through it and basically um, all that great stuff. Now, as you can see from the title, you know exactly what we're talking about. We'll talk a little bit about that in just a second. Now, one thing I'm just gonna do, just to not get under banks upset, we won't be naming the banks. So obviously I will give you a hint of what the bank is, um, but we're not gonna name the bank because they'll get upset with me and we don't want that. <laughs> um, they probably won't, but anyway, we're not just, we're not gonna name um, the full on bank, but you'll probably know. So the bank that did the bad on me is obviously Bank of A. You'll probably already know what bank it is. Um, so that's the one there and obviously the bank that helped me out is obviously, we're not gonna say the full name, is National, which obviously you probably know what bank that is as well. Okay, so let's basically talk to you through how this particularly came into a problem. Now, obviously, if you read the terms of conditions when you send, obviously, uh, money to different banks, if you don't have the right details, it does say there's no guarantee you'll ever get that money back. So that's why you gotta be crucially careful. So I'll basically tell you how this all started. So mistakenly, I was going to pay my rent. Now, both of the, all the uh, numbers looked the same. Basically, the only thing that at the end it was different is it the National Bank was 85 and the rent was 75. So I automatically hit 85 thinking that was the one for the rent. Mistakenly, no, that was to a National Bank account. Now, at this point in time, I didn't know what this National Bank account was because I looked at it and it said paid, I went to the rent and it showed the rent was unpaid and I'm going, Hang on, why is it unpaid? So I go in, log back into my bank um, description and I click on where it's been sent. Yeah, and, and in the bank description it says National Capital and I'm going, what the hell is National Capital? Now I know that obviously for the rent, it's not through National. Now this is where I've got concern. I'm going, where the hell have I just sent this money to? So I basically go back in it and I go, oh crap. It's the wrong number, it's the wrong ending number. Every other number was pretty much correct except the last ending number. So, basically I'm going, what the hell am I going to do? I've just paid the rent, but it's not gone to the actual rent, it's gone somewhere else. So I was unsure where it actually went. So I went, okay, I'm gonna call, and I went, okay, I'm gonna call Bank of A and see what they're going to do. So I called them up pretty much immediately, as soon as I did it, absolutely immediately, to the second. But again, I was on hold for 35 minutes, so that didn't really help the situation. So I was on hold for 35 minutes, so I contacted them, said, I've sent the rent here, can you please reverse the funds? I've just sent it, and they went, yes, we can do that, but you're gonna have to pay us a $50 fee. And I went, well, if I pay you a $50 fee, that's gonna come out of my rent. And they said, well, there's no other way of us getting you the money back. And I said to them, well, what happens if I go directly to National? And they went, well, we can't really describe information about other banks, which I thought was very, um, professional very right there because they wouldn't tell me they wouldn't help me unless I gave them the 50 bucks they did not want to help me unless I gave them 50 bucks so I was thinking to it I'm thinking about it and I went to where I'll call you back I'm going to go to national and see if we can resolve this because I thought I'm not paying 50 bucks because that means I'm going to, have to pay an extra 50 bucks to rent and I suddenly did not want to do that so pretty much I called up the national and pretty much called them and told them about it it turns out I used to have an account with them years ago and I had opened accounts with them, which I did not know about. I had actually opened accounts, three open accounts. So I called them up and told them the situation. I said, okay, I've sent money here. I told them a reference number and they went, okay, we can see you've got an account. What, how many accounts did you have? And how much money did you have in them? What was your recent transfer and all that? And I'm going, I have no idea. This account was used two years ago. So they found an account I had with National, but I couldn't confirm myself. And they said, well, what, um, based on the information you've told us, none of the information matches up, so you're gonna have to call us back and re-enter your information and make sure you've got it correct. And I went, oh, stuff this for a joke. So there was a national bank across the road. So I went over to them and I went, okay, let's go talk to National Bank over there. So I went in there, told him the, all the problem. And he goes, oh yes, yes, I can see the money's right here. You've sent the money here. And I went, oh, you found it. He goes, yeah, 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 it's here. And I went, okay, uh, they're having an issue with it on the self-serve team. Can you change my number? 
And they went, do you have the old number? And I went, no, 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 I don't have the old number. So he goes, oh yes, I'll, I'll change it for you as long as you can confirm where you live and confirm what your old residential address was. Luckily, I could do that. So he changed it, he goes, yeah, you're all good to go. It takes 30 minutes to update your number and then you can just reset your password. So I walk all the way back home and I reset the pass. I go on there to log in. It sends another text message to the wrong mobile address. And I go, oh, I'll stuff this for a joke. So again, we're not getting anywhere. So 30 minutes, I waited an hour, an hour had passed, still was putting that wrong number. So I called National back up and I went, I called them up and I said, okay, I've just been down to National Branch. They've just changed my number. And they went, can you please confirm what account you have? And I said, yes, I have three accounts. This is what they are. And I know how much is in them. And they went, okay, so can you please confirm your old mobile number? And I went, that's physically impossible. I don't know what it is. And they went, well, based on the information that you've told us, you're going to have to call us back and re-enter the information and make sure it's all correct. And I went, oh, I stuffed this for a joke. So I went back down to him. I think his name was Frank. So I went back down to Frank and I went, just called National. They've just told me to, they've just told me to call back up. I'm not getting anywhere. Um, I thought you changed the number. And he went, oh yeah, I'm pretty sure I did. So I rechecked it. Now, by this time, it had been, as you know, banks in Australia closed at four, no matter what. I got there about 3.50. So basically I was in line, they closed. I'm the only one in the bank, by the way, the whole bank's been locked up. And um, he goes, yes, I've changed, the, I've changed it for you. I'm gonna have to call national um, reset team. So he called them. So he called them up and basically um, was, was just on hold. Now I'm in the bank for about 20 minutes. No one's in there, just me, just sitting there. And I went, fuck this for a joke, I'm leaving. So I said to them, oh, thanks for helping me. I'm just gonna try and sort this out at home. This is ridiculous. Because they're already closed. Like I'm just sitting there and he's just on hold. He's not getting anywhere. So I went, nope, stuff this for a joke. I'm heading back home. So I pretty much um, went back home and waited about, because he goes, wait about 20 to 30 minutes and see if the number does update. Uh, and all that, so I went, okay, we'll wait there. So I waited until about 5.30, and I went to do it again, wouldn't do it. It still was sending it to the old number that I had two years ago. So I called them back up again, called National Backup. This is how complicated this is, by the way. It's not a simple thing. <laughs> Luckily, I've got a lot of effort, I put a lot of effort into this because this is just insane. Imagine people that wouldn't put effort into this, you'd literally lose your money because they, you can't get through. So I went back home out, as I said, after the bank, waited until 5.30 and I called back up. I went to the reset department because I, I noticed when he called them up, he asked for reset. So I went, okay, I'm gonna go to the reset department. Again, the guy goes, what's your account number? What accounts do you have? And all this. And I told him all that, told him all the information. He goes, okay, can you please confirm your mobile number? And I confirmed him my new mobile. He goes, no, that, inc that information that you provided is incorrect. And he goes, you're gonna to have to call us back later, to, uh, call us back again to reconfirm your information and make sure it's correct. And I went, fuck this for a joke. No, 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 stuff it for a joke. So I said to him, mate, I've been to the bank twice. I've been there twice. They've changed the number. How can you not see what they've done? They've changed the number. Can you please uh, transfer me to the senior department? Because when you ever see senior management department, they sort of change their attitude. Because at first he was really upset with me and not, not happy with me at all because I had a go at him. And then when I said senior's department, he goes, hold on a second, I'll see what I can do. So he put me on that, he goes, he didn't actually transfer me to the senior's department. He just paused for a minute, put me on hold. I don't know what he was doing in the meantime. And he comes back to me, okay, okay. Um, if you can tell us what your old mobile number is, if you have the full old mobile number, we can um, look into it. And I went, fuck, what is it? All I knew is it ended in 998. I didn't know the rest of the number. But luckily, I don't know how this happened. Uh, luckily, I was looking through uh, some old paperwork and I found my old number. And I said to him, I found, I've got the number. I've actually found the number. However, I can't respond to it. He goes, no, that's okay. Just confirm what the 10 digit number is. Tell us what it is. And I told him exactly what the 10 digit number was. And basically he goes, okay, I've got access to your account. And then he goes, what's your new mobile number? And I told him that, he goes, can you can please confirm your uh, previous address and your current address and I pre uh, uh, confirmed all that to him. And he goes, yes, we've accessed your account. We have changed the number successfully. Now, if I would have known all of that in the beginning, I would have done that on the first call. Now, again, originally I would have had a problem because A, 
some of the information is not correct. So if I would have just known, seen this department and changed the number and I could have confirmed the old number, we would have got through this a lot faster. Again, it was so complicated because the number, and I didn't even know I had a NAV account. I forgot I had a NAV account because again, it was two years old. I'm surprised I could even access it, but luckily all the information was the same. The only thing that was different was the address and the mobile number, and that's where it became into a problem. But it did get solved. Basically after that phone call, about six o'clock, I got access and I could transfer that directly to rent. But honestly, look how hard that really was. It was seriously the most frustrating thing I've ever dealt with with banks. Now, one thing I'm just gonna confirm, just tell to you guys, if you're doing a similar thing or something very similar has happened to you. If you've done exactly what I've done in the, as I said in the beginning, sent the money to a bank that I didn't, I didn't recognize or I thought it was my bank, but it wasn't. Remember, if it wasn't my bank, as you know, I sent it to national. If that national bank was not mine, I probably would have lost that money. That's how dangerous this really can be. Now, Bank of A probably could have got that back. Again, they said there's no guarantee we can get it back. So that's the really danger thing about this. So luckily, I had a bank with National and it was still active and a BSB and account number was 100% accurate because if it hadn't been, I probably would have lost all that rent money that I sent. It could have really gone in a disaster. So it sort of ended up really good, but again, that whole day did get wasted, just chasing it, going to the bank three, two times actually, two times. I called them about three times. How insane is that? So it was just so annoying, I kept going over there. It was just the most frustrating thing I've ever dealt with. And one thing I've learned, make sure every single number is correct. It's a simple mistake I've made, as sort of 85 to 75, very simple mistake, but always check the numbers are a thousand percent correct. Because if you do send it to the wrong bank and it isn't your bank, you'll never get that money back again. Well, you can, there's a very slim chance that you will get it back. But again, if you do get it back, you're still gonna be out of pocket. You're gonna lose about 50 bucks, depending on what your bank is gonna charge to try and get that money back. And that's sort of the story I wanted to really talk to you guys about today, because it was seriously a danger one, because I literally could have lost all that rent money. It literally could have gone disappeared in the universe. It really could have disappeared. They may not have been able to find it. Or if it went to someone, they could have just withdrawn it and then the money would never be found again. So yeah, I just wanted to tell you guys a little bit about that, if it helped you guys out. Have you done a similar thing like that? It's a massive error. And let us know if you've done something very similar to what I did. Would love to know it all down below. And let us know what you think about this story time. I've got a few other cool stories that I could share as well if you'd like to hear them. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching Sunlight Network. Subscribe for more, and we'll catch you guys in the next one. Catch you next time.